Okay, today we have some coins to show you. First, we're going to show you this 1949 one shilling coin. I think it's kind of neat. This is the one side. And then here you have the other side. Just a lion sitting right on the crown there. Isn't that cool? Okay, then we have a five cents euro. Let me flip that over for you. But I think this side is the interesting side, of course. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, and then we have a 10 shilling. This is a 1974. Ah, isn't that the beauty? Look at that. Really nice. Okay, and this is 50J. It's a 1990, but I have no idea what kind of coin this is. Let me flip it over for you. Okay, and this one just says Western. I don't know what the writings on top and the bottom is, but it's the same on both sides. So I'm not really sure what this is. If any of you know, please be sure to leave a comment so the rest of us can all learn from viewing this coin. Okay? Okay, and then we have a 1940 Canadian five cents. Of course you have your beaver. Then we have a 1941 quarter, a U.S. coin. Pretty worn out, huh? Okay, and then these two are the two different sides of a $2 Canadian, 1996 Canadian $2 coin. that different how the center is gold? Okay, and then this is the other side. You know, with the big beer right on it. All right, so let's put these guys all together real closely so you can get a good view of all of them. And there they are collection of coins for you to check out. See if you have any of these. If you have any info on that western one, be sure to leave me a comment. Hope that we can all learn from it. Of course, the one I like the most is that first one, you know, with the tiger with his, I mean the lion with his long tail on the crown, that 1949, uh, one shilling. So pretty. All right, bye-bye now.